पार्टी 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 आज होगी पार्टी ना 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 ए व्हाट्स अप गाइस एक सेकंड वर यू इनवाइटेड टू माय पार्टी मतलब प्राइवेट पार्टी चल रही है और जबरदस्ती आ गए खैर कोई नहीं हिंदुस्तान में ना मेहमान भगवान होते हैं सो यू मोर देन वेलकम वैसे पार्टी अभी स्टार्ट होने वाली है जैसे ही आई टेक दिस वाइन बॉटल इनसाइड ओहो रेडी टू पार्टी आई एम Where's the cock screw? Where's the cock screw? Where's the cock screw? अरे यार, I forgot the cock screw. अब cock नहीं खुलेगा तो wine नहीं होगी, wine नहीं तो party नहीं. ना 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 ना, don't look at me like this. Tonight it's gonna be a happening party. क्योंकि ये cock बाहर आएगा without a cock screw. How? Let me show you. I have some basic, very simple ideas. जिसकी मदद से आपको कॉक स्क्रू की जरूरत होगी नहीं फर्स्टली टेक अ वेरी शार्प नाइफ तेज धार वाली रिमूव दिस फॉइल पेपर कंप्लीटली देर वी गो वंस दी फॉइल पेपर इज ऑफ देन टेक द शार्प नाइफ एंड प्लेस इट एट द एज ऑफ द कॉक Now slowly start to turn and twist, turn and twist and turn and twist, and the cock will come out. I have another simple idea. So अगर आप थोड़े proper किस्म के इंसान हैं, आपके पास घर में screws होंगे for sure. You'll also have a plier, and you'll also have a screwdriver. What you need is a long screw and Using the screwdriver, इसे आप कॉक में फिट कर दीजिए मेक श्योर sure कि आप ऐसा स्क्रू यूज करें जिसके थ्रेड्स में डिस्टेंस ज्यादा हो दैट विट विल वर्क बेटर नाउ आई यूज द स्क्रू ड्राइवर सो दैट द स्क्रू गोज इन मेक श्योर द स्क्रू गोज कंप्लीटली इन जस्ट अराउंड हाफ इंच आउट and then using the plier isko aise pakdiye and just pull it out tan 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 you know there's another idea instead of taking the cock out why did you push the cock in i'll tell you why they say once you open the wine bottle you should finish it the same day kehte hai na wo sehat ke liye varna zyada hanikarak hoti hai so you can use the back side of the plier or the back side of the screw driver or kuch nahi hai to back side of the knife and just push the cock in here we go voila and the cock is in make sure when you doing this process opening of the bottle is not towards anyone wine spillage ki wajah se opening wine bottle cork screw with a knife materials required are wine bottle knife procedure take a wine bottle grab a serrated knife and remove the foil covering stick the knife near the edge of the cork and very carefully start twisting keep twisting the knife and then pull the knife out in force now your red velvety wine will start flowing Opening wine bottle corkscrew using pliers. Materials required are wine bottle, screw, plier. Procedure: Take a wine bottle and use a hammer to nail the screw inside the cork. By using a plier, pull the screw out. The cork will come out with the screw. Party! Ab to party hogi. Ab to party hogi. अब तो पार्टी अरे यार धत तेरे की वेन एवर देर अ पार्टी एट योर प्लेस ग्लास टूटना तो जैसे अनिवार्य है अर्लियर दिस यूज टू ए बिग प्रॉब्लम फॉर मी बट नाउ आई हैव कम अप विथ थ्री इजी वेज टू क्लीन दिस मेस एंटायरली आई शो यू इधर यू कैन यूज आटा Or dough. Secondly, you can use a slice of bread. Or thirdly, you can use 
this brown tape. Now before you start, I suggest you should wear gloves. Obviously, you're dealing with broken glass. Khatra hai. Now, what you can do is, firstly you can take out the big pieces of glass. Once you are done with that, take the atta, and as we all know, atta is sticky, and start rolling it on the floor or the surface where the broken glass is. Now, what will happen is, atta being sticky will attract all these small shreds of glass, so it gets very easy for us to clean. Or secondly, you can use a slice of bread. Bread also being sticky, kach ko apni taraf khichta hai. So the small shreds of glass won't bother you. See, simple. Or thirdly, you can use the brown tape. What you need to do is wrap it around your hand. It's simple and quite effective. Just make sure the sticky surface is towards the floor. Now, place your hand on the surface. And as we know, tape is supposed to be sticky. All these small shreds of glasses, tape se, is tarah se chipak jayenge. So it's very easy for you to clean this mess. Let's continue. For now, I'm using all the three means. Atta, bread, or tape ki mili juli taakat. Dekha, ho gaya spick and span. Mene kaha tha na. You're welcome again. To clean the broken glass pieces, materials required are dough, bread slice, brown tape, hand gloves. Procedure is, first take a ball of dough, run it through the broken pieces and run it along the floor. All the small pieces will be cleaned since dough is sticky and acts as a magnet on the broken pieces. Wide brown sticky tape. Wind the sticky side out and wrap it around your palm and dab it all over the floor. It will pick up all the broken pieces. Slice bread. Run the slice of bread along the floor. It will also do the same thing. Filal, it's time to party. Join me. Cheers. What are you staring at? Oh, this is my new wine bag. Aaj hi bana hai. Don't worry, I'll teach you too after the party. How to DIY it. But filal, let's party no. Party. Party. What's up, people? Welcome back to DIY. What a party I had here. I mean, it was fun. Do you remember the bag? Uh, this bag. The wine bag. Isn't it cool? Do you believe it? I made it out of my old denims. Don't you want to learn how to make this cool wine bag out of old denims? It's quite simple actually. Firstly, I'm going to show you these cool shots I made out of my old denims. But I'm a smart guy. I don't believe in wastage. That's why I didn't throw the legs either. Wait, I'll show you. Making wine bag is actually a very simple task. What you need is... Legs of your old denims. Some stickers, ribbons to decorate it. Scissor. Thread and needle. And of course, wine bottle. Firstly, once you have cut off the leg, Turn it inside out, like this. Then, you cut off a round patch like this, so that you can cover the base. Take thread and needle, and then start sewing it. In fact, if you use colorful thread, it will look more designer, more classy. Once you are done sewing, the base will be fully covered. 
and then you can use such stickers, colorful thread or ribbon to decorate the wine bag. And finally, wine bag aapka tayar hoga. I'll just show you. See how, how I've tied the ribbon so that the bottle looks more classy and more elegant. Here we go. See, this is the way you can actually decorate the wine bag. Fold it from here. Put the wine bottle in. Tie the ribbon around it. You can even add various colors. You can even try and paint it. It might look nice. Nice. Cheers. Denim wine bottle bag. Materials required are jean leg bottom, sturdy fabric of choice, scissors, ribbons, needle and thread. Procedure is take a denim, cut one of its leg with the help of a needle and thread, stitch it one of the end. Now from the other end of the leg, just fold it and tie a ribbon. Put your wine bottle in it and your denim wine bottle bag is ready. Oof. What a party, man. But I think that my friends are very strange. Either they will behave like that they have never been in a party. Or they will behave like that it's the last life's party. It's not going to be a party. That's why we all have friends with different characters. We all have one friend who laughs the loudest. We all have one friend who talks the most. We all have one friend who drinks like a barrel. We all have one friend who passes out even before the party starts. And we all have one friend who is less than drinking. Girata zada hai. Girata? Look at my cushion cover. Ab is wine stain ko dekh kar mujhe tension honi chahi hai na? But nahi hai. Kyunki mere paas kuch amazing aise tricks hai which can take care of the stain like this. So firstly, what you can do is you can try and blot it using toilet paper or tissue paper. If not that, you can always use salt. Salt, what it does is, absorbs the moisture from the wet stain. In case the stain has become dry, firstly, pour some water so that the stain becomes wet again. Then you use salt and sprinkle it all over the stain. Maybe one teaspoon. settle all over the stain. Thirdly, what you can do is, you can use baking soda. Baking soda se waise bhi saare daag chale jate hain, siwai character ke daag ke. Take some baking soda, mix it in some water, again around one teaspoon full. Mix it in water, stir well. Then, when it's mixed well, then you can put the mixture on the stain and let it settle, say for a couple of hours. Or after 1-2 hours, your cushion cover is going to look like this, brand new. To remove wine stains, materials required are salt, water, baking soda, Procedure is, put some salt nearly one teaspoon over stain while it's still wet. If your stain is dry, pour little water on it first before adding salt to it. You can also use baking soda in the same way as you use salt. Or you can also use white wine. Confused, no? White wine, what it does is, it dilutes the color of red wine, which makes red wine ke stain ko hatana thoda easy ho jata hai. But the great saga of white wine, in another episode, mein, filhal, aage badte hai. Wow, isn't this beautiful? I mean, simply wow. It's a special housewarming gift made by my friend. Where say, hey simple, mujhe bhi aata hai banana. And you know me, I'm a nice hearted guy. Sikha dunga aapko. Not a big deal. To iske liye, firstly you need one empty beer bottle, some yarn, 
scissors and glue. Firstly, take one strip of glue and put it at the top of the bottle. Now take one end of the yarn and press it against the glue. Don't worry about the glue though. It dries off very easily. Then start wrapping the bottle with the yarn around it. Keep going. Make sure while you're wrapping the bottle, there are no empty spaces between the yarn. Just the way I'm doing it. Nice and easy, continue. Then once you reach the bottom of the neck, again put a strip of glue so that the yarn sticks to the curve. And then once you reach the bottom of the bottle, again use a strip of glue so that the yarn sticks to it. Take scissors, chop off the yarn, keep the bottle for a while until the glue completely dries off. And when you get tired, that the bottle is completely dry, pour some water in it. And as per your taste, add some flowers, some leaves, maybe a nice plant. Voila! It's a beauty pool. And to decorate the bottle, you can use such buttons, maybe a ribbon or colored thread. And you can use different sizes of bottles too. Even a pint of beer looks pretty good. So, in size, you have a variety of Two different beauty pools. Beer bottle flower bars. Materials required are beer bottles, yarn and thick thread, glue, scissors, buttons, glitter, decorative paper. Procedure is, take a bottle, add a small strip of glue to the top of the bottle, press the end of the yarn into the glue, then wrap the yarn around the bottle till the bottom of the bottle. Make sure you don't leave any gap in between. When you reach the bottom of the bottle, place a small strip of glue and cut the yarn. Decorate it with ribbons, glitter, decorative paper or paint. Why are you I need to do some stretching. It was a hard So you guys take a break. See you soon. DIY. Let's see. Remember that video? Just there's a guy who puts a CD inside the microwave and there's some crazy light show happening inside the microwave. Let me tell you something, that guy was crazy. Please don't try this at But this machine is actually a highly underutilized machine. This machine is you can do anything, you can't even imagine. For example, uh, when you enter your kitchen, What's the dirtiest thing in your kitchen? A sponge. Because it's the whole kitchen. Ki safai hoti hai. And it's very difficult to clean this cleaning sponge. So what happens is, in a couple of weeks, badbu aari hoti hai, sponge kharaab ho chuka hota hai, you throw it away. How about a very easy way to clean this sponge? I'll tell you. Firstly, take the sponge, make it completely wet, then open the door of microwave, put it in, then heat it, on high temperature for say two minutes. Here we go. Now just see the magic. Ab dekhiye is jadu ki machine ka kamal. Tada! Look how clean it is. Plus, it smells fresh. Lekin by chance, if in your sponge there's some metal, any kind of metal, then kindly avoid this method. Next trick. Let's talk about bread. Well, I love bread. Kabi jam ke saath, kabi butter ke saath. In fact, roti kam khata hon, bread zada khata hon. But the problem with bread, ek din bhi agar aapne bread ko bahar chhod diya, it becomes soggy, it starts smelling, ya fir basically khane like nahi rehti hai. So ya to you throw it away, ya feed it to poor stray animals. Lekin, using this magical machine, you can fix the bread. Kaise? Take the bread slices, uh, wrap it in damp cloth or paper towels, put it in a microwave safe dish, Put it inside the microwave, 
heat it on high for say 10 seconds and bread will be fresh itni fresh ki abhi abhi oven se nikli hai abhi abhi bakery se aayi hai try karna agle trick ki baat karte hain let's talk about the smelly garlic garlic ka sabse basic problem whenever it's fresh it's nearly impossible to peel it off aap agar chop karne ki try karenge kaatne ki try karenge or trying to peel it off it's a tough task but there's a simpler way using this magical machine take the garlic put it inside the microwave then heat it on high for say 10 to 20 seconds now wait and watch tan here's the magical bell doing this garlic becomes a bit soft so it's easier to peel it off or chop it i'm going to press it now See, these slices are actually coming off a lot easier. It's warm, it's soft, and now peeling of garlic is no big deal. Last but not the least, my favorite one. ये एक ऐसी चीज़ है जो हर किसी को रुलाती है. जी हाँ, I'm talking about onions. Whenever you're chopping off onions, you're bound to cry. You just can't help it. तो करना क्या है? Just cut off the edges like the way I am doing. Put it inside the microwave and heat it on high for say 30 seconds. Tang! The bell rings and now after heating it up when I chop the onion, no more tears. And it also becomes very easy to chop it. The reason behind, onion thoda moist ho jata hai, thoda sa soft ho jata hai, as per your taste also. And see, no more tears. Hai na jadu? Kamal hai sab is magical machine ka. Multi-utility of microwave. Materials required are onion, Garlic, bread, dirty sponges, water. Procedures. First, wet your sponge. Then heat on high for two minutes. Your sponge is absolutely clean after you remove it out of the microwave. Revitalize bread. Wrap bread in a damp cloth or paper towel. Place it on a microwave safe dish. Then microwave on high for 20 seconds. Your bread is as fresh as when it was bought. Peel garlic. Place garlic inside the microwave and heat on high for 20 seconds. The cloves slip out of the skin easily for chopping. Onions. Cut the edges of onion and place it in the microwave for 30 seconds. Filal, aaj ka din kaafi interesting ra. I showed you a lot of tricks to prep yourself before the party and after the party. Legan tricks abhi baaki hain. Questions baaki hain, unke solutions baaki hain. I'll see you next time on your show. DIY. Tab tak ke liye. Bye bye. Sayonara.